This month, we're talking all about longevity. Unless you've been sitting under a rock, you are aware of the health impacts of sitting. Health experts are actually throwing around quotes like, sitting is the new smoking. Too much sitting not only increases your risk of certain uh, chronic conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer, it is also really, really bad for your mental health. Getting yourself moving is not as hard as you think. In fact, in today's video, I have five simple ways to get more movement back into your day. Hey there, I'm Dr. Devin Atkinson from Atkinson Family Chiropractic in Denver, North Carolina, and over the past 15 years, I've helped thousands of people kiss back and neck pain goodbye. Okay, so let's get into it. Here are five super simple ways to add more movement back into your day. Number one is walking meetings. Whether you're in person, on the phone, or you're on a Zoom call, these are a really good way to multitask your meeting with a walk. If your boss tells you that walking meetings are a distraction, then remind them that researchers have found that creative thinking is increased by up to 60% while walking. The second tip is to drink more water. Not only will it keep you hydrated, it will keep you walking back and forth to the bathroom, which will help increase the movement in your day. Number three, if you drive to work, consider parking farther away so that you have more steps to take from your car to your work and then from your work to your car at the end of the day. Tip number four is to get a standing workstation. Important to know that standing workstations have been proven to decrease your aches and pains, but we do not know if they increase the movement you have throughout the day yet. And tip number five, get a movement tracker. I love my Apple Watch because it tells me when to stand, it tells me if I'm not moving enough, it tells me if I need to get more exercise through the day. It gives me a gentle reminder every hour that it's time to get up off your bum and stand up. And a lot of these movement trackers gamify motion so that you are encouraged more and more to get up and move around. A lot of them, especially like the Apple Watch, even lets you have contests with friends so that you can push each other to get more motion throughout your day. Regardless of which way you decide to add more motion into your day, the goal is really not to increase your motion. Your goal should be to decrease your amount of sitting during the day. So adding exercise to your routine before you go to work or when you get home from work is really great, but you really need to figure out between these ways and more how to add more movement throughout your day at work. If this video has been helpful, share it with a friend. If you're still suffering from aches and pains, give the office a call. I'd love to work with you. Give us a call at 704-827-6560. Have a wonderful day. Bye.